Hi everyone, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Ventures. Today we're gonna to talk about audio settings on the FT710, which pretty much would be the same for most radios uh, that Yesu makes. You, you may actually have to go into different menus as all, well, but uh, pretty much all the settings are the same if you have newer radios, you know, back from the, probably from the 950 uh, to today's radios. The FTDX10 will be the same, the 101, the 3000, the 991A. Pretty much what I found is when I take the settings from one of my radios and put it in the other one, it's the same. Okay, so first of all, we're going to talk a little bit about audio. Now, you want to, you always want to have your microphone fairly close to your face, but I'll show you why. If I move this microphone, let's say over here someplace, you see how the audio gets not as good, right? Let me bring it back. So you do want to have your, your microphone fairly close to your mouth. Now, let me just grab the microphone here. The microphone, usually you want two to three fingers from your mouth, okay? You have to adjust it for your voice and how loud you speak. Uh, the best thing I can say is if you can find a friend that uh, can get you on, a, you know, say you guys can do fairly low power and still have a good signal, you know, like S9 to each other, try to uh, have him help you adjust your audio. And a lot of times people will tell you to talk across the mic and that way you don't get the P's where you go P -p -p like that, you know? It's, it's annoying to some people when they hear that. So if you cock across it, it kind of takes that away. Again, like I said, you're gonna actually have to take in uh, and, and have a friend listen to you or you can listen to yourself on a, um, like an SDR or another radio that's maybe on a dummy lobe so you're not, uh, getting too much power and just do low power. Let me put that microphone away over here for now. So now what I'm gonna do is bring up the screen for the uh, FT710. And like I said, this would be much like most Yesus. And I'm sure ICOM and Kenwood, if you own multiple radios of those also, it would be the same thing that your, your audio settings will go to each radio. Okay, let's just switch over. Now, here we have the uh, screen. Let me look, and it looks like it's in focus. Now on the uh, FT710, you, you take this button here, you see my finger over on the right. I have it, I don't have, I'm trying to get as big a screen as I can get. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this function button, okay? Now the function br button brings up the quick menu. Now in the quick menu, you wanna go over to where it says operating setting, operation setting. And you're gonna pop that on. I've already done it, but say this would have been in general. So, so what you're gonna do is hit TX audio. Okay, now as you can see, it brings up these screens here and to get through these, you just basically you turn the function knob and it'll take you through all these ones. I'm gonna show you my audio settings. My audio settings might work for you if your voice is close to mine. They may, it may actually be better than the, the stock settings and I'll show you how you can tell the stock settings when we go back to the menu. But uh, like I said before, always get somebody else to help you and maybe it's a good starting point for you but just because I'm gonna show you mine and it works for me, it may not work for you. Now I will say that I get a lot of unsolicited uh, remarks back on my audio saying my audio is really good. And that's just with the stock hand mic guys, just this mic right here uh, so far. Now I, I have in the past on my other radios set up better microphones, even a $19 microphone that I have that uh, does really, really well. And we'll go back through it and show you the settings that I use and maybe they will work for you, we'll see or you'll see. All right, so here's the screen again. Now, as you can see, I've got mid up here. That's the first setting. Uh, I've got on mid, if I click that, now if I go fast enough, I can go fast or slow, okay? I'm gonna leave it back, this is where I had it set. Now I click it in. Now, as you see that yellow, it's harder to see on this because of the, the light's a little, let me see if I can darken it just a little bit for you guys. There, I mean, that's a little bit better. Now you can see the yellow color. The yellow color is the settings that the radio comes with. Now anything in white is something that I've changed. Now I did set this radio up with a couple of friends that uh, I had a good S9 plus or maybe plus 10 signal to those guys, uh, Jim and Andy down in San Diego. And they helped me set up my audio um, when I first had it set, I had it set really well, but it was a little too bassy for that rag chew. Um, and, and Andy's not a big fan of the bass, 
So we took some of the bass out so it would cut through signals a little bit better. So let's go back to the screen on the radio. Okay, so something that Yesu does on theirs, now I have ICOM 705, it has three basic settings that I know of, treble, bass, and mid. Now the, the Yesu's come with a, paramedic, a parametric equalizer, I hope I said that right. Somebody will say, somebody will tell me if I didn't. But if you see now you have parametric, parametric equalizer one frequency, I have that on 200. Let's just go ahead and see what the stock setting is for that. I have to remember 200 so I can put it back where I had it. The stock setting is off, so I have it turned on. It timed out there, so I'm gonna go back to 200. And I'm gonna set that. You set that by pushing the button on the uh, function knob and get back in. So for um, level, I have 10. I'm gonna go down here. Band um, equalize one, bandwidth is two. And you guys can always stop this and look and then set yours if you wanna try my settings. For frequency, I have 800 hertz. Uh, level, minus one. Bandwidth, I think that's bandwidth, number three. Uh, frequency, 3,000. Um, and this is the uh, the level again on equal, Equalizer 3 here is actually set uh, stock, okay? I didn't, I didn't move that. The bandwidth on this one, this is Equalizer 3, guys. Uh, bandwidth uh, uh, here is 3. And then we record Equalizer Frequency 1 is 100 hertz. And back to... Uh, Equalizer one level is zero. Bandwidth one. Frequency 1500. This is on equalizer two frequency. You guys, look at these numbers here. It's this P parametric equalizer two and level. So if you are setting yours to mine, make sure you're on the same one, okay? And then the bandwidth again, one for two. 3200 and then 10 1 for equalizer 3 bandwidth and that was stock and that was all the settings guys so you can try my settings and maybe they'll work for you maybe they won't but maybe they'll get you closer to what's right and if you have your friend he can listen to what you go what you'll do is you go to each one of those move it up or down whichever way it sounds better to that person and hopefully you pick a person that has a good ear for audio so um, pretty easy guys it's I know it's confusing but it is pretty easy um, I don't understand all the settings and what they mean and everything but uh, I've helped people before set their audio too and a lot of it's just by your ear but the, and that's why I say you do want a good signal now I've had people ask me how their audio was and that you know my s no my my noise is like th s3 and their s4 I can't give them a really good I can say yeah it sounds okay but your signal is not strong enough for me to give you a really good suggestion on how your audio sounds. Okay, so make sure that you do have a good signal, okay? All right, guys, so I did mention that I don't know what everything means, but if you do go on page 93 of the manual, that's where it starts for this adjustment. And let's just read. Uh, so the parametric equalizer one frequency sets the center frequency of the low range for the three band parametric parametric microphone equalizer um, so that's it does tell you in the in the manual what each thing does you still may not know what it means but at least it gives you an idea of what's going on so don't forget to check your manuals out too guys that will help you also more understand what's going on when you're doing all these settings now i, I know my last video on this my <laughs> I, I messed up guys I my camera will lock on something and I had I did a couple of times I turned it on my camera on and off I actually had locked it and then turned my camera off and back on and it wasn't locked anymore and unfortunately it focused on whatever it wanted to but today let's go I'll go through the screens again for you guys that way you can see the screens and there it'll be a clearer shot for you guys okay sorry about that last time guys I, I know plenty of you plenty of you told me about it and I understand so let's go back Okay, let's start. Let's start here, guys. This is the uh, the expanded view. All right. 
and we're going to come off of that so that brings it down to here and this has this one's nice it has the the att the ipo the dnf the agc all up on the top up here if you can see that okay and if you hit multi brings up another screen that shows the guy that's talking with the s9 plus 20 there that's his voice coming across the uh, the side over here and it looks like he has a pretty nice little waveform there all right so this gives you different things and it, it up here in the top it tells you center fast and span and we're at 50 kilohertz on this on the span guys so let me let me go back one this one gives you a little bigger view now you can see where that is let's go to the span all right and we're going to pick 20. so if you look at the signals here they've changed the size of the signal changes so let's just let's, we'll span it again we'll go to 100. So that means we're seeing more of the band. And now this, now if you guys look at this guy's signal, it's it's a little narrower. Not his signal, but the on the scope it is. All right. All right. So let's go back to where I had it, back to 50. I kind of like it there because it gives it gives me a good size on the person that's talking. And it still gives me a pretty good uh, look at the, the band here. Now let's start, let's try the 3D. Okay. Now, something I noticed the other day on the 3D. Now, this one, you need to do some adjusting to get it. I probably have too much. Let, let's just turn the, uh, let me see if I can turn the gain the other way and see if it changes. So I've turned the gain all the way off. It really didn't change. There's ways of making this more clear. Oh, you, okay. This is not my favorite one, and it's a little washed out in the in the video here, guys. It's a little more blue on the actual screen. But I think something I did notice, now if I hit multi, it still does it. And that gives you all the different information. I I just realized that on my last video after I, after I watched it that you're still getting different, you're still getting the 3D effect there also. And if I do expand, same thing. Okay. All right, let's take the 3D off and we'll just leave it right there for now. So the, the, the screen on this is really sharp, guys. I think you guys will like it. It's not as big, big as the FTDX10, which again is not as big as the 101. It's the same size as the 7300. Um, I think that was by design by Yesu. I think that's what this, this, this radio is pretty much aimed at that one. And right now, uh, we had John Crock on Coffee and Ham Radios the other day, and he says through the end of December or January, I forget which, this uh, this radio will still be on sale. But you guys might want to get, if you're interested in this, you might want to get it since they're on sale. They may be out of stock pretty fast, guys. That's the problem. They try to supply as many as they can. And Yesu's done a really good job during the pandemic here bringing out new radios. I mean, they brought out more radios than any other company, uh, ICOM being probably the second most. Of, of the big three and Kenwood really hasn't brought anything out they're bringing out the new HT which I think is a revamp model of the old HT and that's probably because of uh, parts supply but it still hasn't come out yet so so what I just showed you today basically I set this and forget it I never I hardly ever go back in there unless my buddy and I decide that I need to change something in my audio which I usually don't now if you do change microphones you may want to go through this I usually don't change anything. My voice is still the same. Sometimes you have to change. Some mics will pick up your voice a little more. You may have to turn the, you know, the gain on the microphone up or down. All right, and I didn't get into that stuff either. Okay, okay, let's go back into the uh, the screen again. All right, so now we've got, um, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna hit the function button, guys. Now, if you look in here, you have all your different things contrast dimmer okay um processor i have my processor on it looks like i have the equalizer on you also have to do this guys this is something i didn't talk about but the equalizer needs to be on if you're uh, when you're setting these things i believe i think that has to be like one of the things you have to do to make it actually you know you make all those adjustments but if it's not on it's not really making those adjustments okay so i have processor at one now to use monitor, you want to, what you want to do is you have a, a volume on that monitor. You can turn up or down and you just kind of want to set it so it sounds good. And then the other thing you want to do is just put your headphones on, find a quiet part of the band where you won't bother anybody. Turn the power way down because you don't need any power. And on these Yesus, you can only go down to five watts. 
but hopefully you can do some of your own audio yourself. And then after you get a set, then go out and get your friend to listen to it and see what he thinks. And then from there on, you guys, you know, he can make some help you make some adjustments or something. Well, I hope this video was of, of use to you guys. And like I said before, yeah, this might, my settings might work for you, but probably not unless your voice is pretty close to mine. But it might be a good starting point for you. So if you did get something out of this video, please hit that like. And if you are new here and you like the contents as you're seeing and you want to see more of this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all. That way you'll get all my future videos. I'm Chuck, KK6USY. This is Ham Radio Ventures. Thank you for joining me today. I know your time is valuable. 73 on. Hope to get you guys on the airways.